Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10. We are at build 16170 and uh, so this is a surprise move out of Microsoft. Yesterday April 7th a new build of Windows 10 was released and it's the first for Redstone 3. So that means we're moving ahead into already what will be the next version of Windows 10 this fall. Now the um, the download went fast, the install was kind of long, I thought the uh, install was ra rather long but you know what, um, If you, first of all if you're looking for new features I won't show you any because there aren't really. But um, you know what, I think this is because there's many many fundamental changes to the core of Windows 10 here. You know what's happening in the next in this build and the next few builds we'll have is basically we are going to have structural changes to one core that unified core across devices of Windows 10 and that's to get it ready for the next features coming probably in about a month's time we'll start seeing some new features now um, if you're in the insider program and you weren't sure, should I stop? Should I continue? Should I? What should I do? Okay, here's the thing. This build seems to be very stable, very good. But you know what? As new, no new features, and I don't think we'll have new features in the next couple of weeks. So we'll have probably a few more builds that have absolutely no features at all. So basically, uh, what's going to happen is that this is um, mostly, you know updating the internal code of Windows 10. So, you know, think about it. Maybe you can wait a little bit if you're not sure. These new builds, you know, this one's not buggy, but, you know, Donna Sarkar and uh, th did say, look, these will be buggier than probably the builds you had in the past few weeks. So um, if you don't want to take the chance, you can wait and wait until there's new features around build, you know, May 12th, something like that. Apart from that, it's very stable, works really well, um, no real new features in here, and uh, we're really moving ahead. I'm extremely surprised at this move. Um, it's the first time that Microsoft issues a build for the next generation of Windows 10, and that the you know main version, the Creators Update, is still not even up there in uh, you know everybody's uh, computer. Really, really amazing. You know, uh, last time when the anniversary update came out, we had builds about a couple of weeks after that. We started having a build. This time it's let's just go ahead. And I think this shows that Microsoft is dead serious about a second update this year around October, November, and that they're working hard for to, to do so. Um, Paul Tarot was showing that apparently uh, embedded in here, deep in the system, there's a uh, My People. Uh, app that is apparently um, starting to show but it doesn't work at all it's just you know kind of a shell of my people uh, so um, there's you know basically new things inside it that are meant to be uh, used eventually they fixed some issues here uh, especially one that was uh, a problem with some people getting an error code when um, you would try to install new builds on reboot you had an error code so they fixed that, they fixed a few things to make uh, the, the different uh, parts of Windows kind of more reliable um, for insiders and to have more consist consistency with the rest of the operating system. Uh, there are a lot of known issues in this build, so um, you know, if you aren't sure you want to go, um, make sure that um, you know, you're careful. Narrator doesn't work in here. Uh, some insiders report that updates were canceled. There's still that problem, and it's really only insider builds that got that, by the way. Uh, some apps in games may crash because of advertising ID problems. Uh, there's a fix. Um, there's a bug where you need to restart your PC due to pending update, and um, it might not show up, and you might have to restart manually. And certain hardware configuration caused the broadcast live review window in the game bar to green flash green. Once again, you know, these are still. These are, you know, things that were there uh, in the last Insider previews, so it's kind of very, very interesting. Uh, Surface 3 devices will fail to update in this build if you have an SD memory card inserted. F12 for DevTool and um, Edge broken. 
in the action center may get uh, into a state where dismissing one notification unexpectedly dismisses multiple. Just reboot your device if it happens. So nothing, uh, really nothing worth talking about here. Um, it's a start of a new, you know, a new deal, a new, uh, a new season of insider builds. And um, you know what, we, uh, it, it, it's really kind of really cool to see that uh, we're advancing in a, such a fast state. So um, really nothing much more to report. It's very stable. I haven't had any issues personally. So I guess, um, you know, it, it, it looks pretty well. Uh, if you're an insider and you've downloaded this, why not to share your own uh, comments? Have you, you have problems with this? And uh, if you're wondering when the new features will pop out, I think they're going to pop out around build, which means um, about May, build starts, I believe, May the 12th. So uh, somewhere there, I think we're going to have uh, something happening and we'll start having new stuff. So, you know, if you are waiting for new features, you can maybe turn off the fast ring for now and wait a little bit. And as we are advancing into the future of Windows 10 here, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. If you have any, um, you know, anything to share with me because you're an insider, um, you know, about this build, why not share it with us? And uh, thank you for watching. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos.